In the process of creating applications like Google Photos, Search, Gmail, and Maps, Google has learned a lot about building with AI. And we're putting all that know-how in your hands with Google Cloud's AI APIs so that you can easily apply the best of what Google has learned to identify images, transcribe audio, and understand context from communication. Each of these APIs is powerful on its own, but what you might not know is just how easy it can be to combine them to build even more powerful and impressive applications. In this video, we're going to see how you can combine several APIs together. Our mission? Extract sentiment from the spoken word. But we'll go a step further and create the audio in the first place. That means we'll give you a taste of three different APIs. The text-to-speech API, the speech-to-text API, and the natural language API. You ready? Let's dive into the process. For this example, we're going to be using Python in a Jupyter Notebook to run through a series of tasks. Let's take it step by step so that you can see what each part does. We'll start with a setup step to install all the library dependencies we need to run the code samples below. We're including dependencies for our text-to-speech, speech-to-text, and natural language APIs. Let's run that. Now we have a few global configurations for this sample setup here. I'll highlight them as we use them. The next portion of our code is split into three functions, one for each of the three APIs that we'll be meeting in this video. The first function calls the text-to-speech API to synthesize the audio files. I could just as easily have loaded that speech sample from the cloud storage bucket we made in my last API video. But since this episode is all about combining APIs, we'll use an API to create our audio from scratch. Once the audio is rendered, we'll move on to the next portion, transcribing that audio to text using the speech-to-text API. By the way, here's where we're using those global settings from before to tweak the operation of this API. Yes, we've gone from text back to text, but now you've seen just how easy it is to combine two APIs together. And now it's time to throw a third one into the mix. We'll take advantage of the natural language API to isolate key entities and get sentiment information from our text. We'll use it to determine the general tone positive or negative of entire blocks of text and the key entities in them. So is it a happy story? Let's run the code in the notebook. First, we see that the audio has been rendered in a playable control here with the execution of our functions. Let's give it a listen. Hey, I want to tell you that your employee Janice was super helpful today. Underneath that control, we've transcribed text with annotations about the sentiment. At the beginning of each phrase, we see a printout of the sentiment for the entire line. Below each line, we have character underlines that show the sentiment details about entities separate from the sentiment for the entire line. X is for negative, tilde is for neutral, and plus is for positives. Now you've seen how easily these APIs work together, and you're empowered to start creating your own complex workflows. If you have a system that handles voice calls and you want to transcribe and analyze that data, you might use the second set of APIs. With just a few lines of code, you can enable voice control for all manner of systems, giving you simple and hands-free control of your tools by using speech-to-text. Want to translate from another language? Toss in the Translate API to easily transcribe audio and video streams into other languages for captions, accessibility, and easy searching. To go even further, you can use models trained on domain-specific quality requirements. For example, if you've recorded your audio at an unusually low rate. There you have it. In just a little bit of code, we combined multiple APIs into a much more complex task and brought NLP insights to audio files. Head over to our Google Cloud homepage and try it out yourself today, free of charge. Mm -hmm. 